Hey guys, you are Android friends. I'm Lokesh Kapoor, and in this video, I'm gonna talk about a really nice tool or application that I have recently created. It is kind of a million dollar business, and we all know everyone is using YouTube these days, and people are also making a lot of tools, a lot of applications these days. And the one application I have come up with is a tool that allows you to transcribe your video. It not only transcribes your video, it allows you to generate a description out of your video or create a brand new article for your blog. So if your video has already been published and you can transcribe it, then you can definitely go ahead and transcribe your video. And with one click, giving few instructions, you can generate a brand new article for your website. So you can just publish an article and have a link embedded in your article about your video. So this tool is going to make a lot of changes. You can you know, publish it, make money, you can make it as a SaaS, you can, or, you, or if you already have a SaaS, you can integrate this kind of a tool into your SaaS business. So there are a lot of opportunities and a lot of possibilities, of course, and you can even earn a lot of money out of this. So in this video, I'm going to talk to you about all the tools and all the integrations that I have used and all the features it has. So I will walk you through my application and what I did to make this. So yeah, stay tuned and I will talk everything about the application and how it works. So yeah, let's get in. So guys, this is the application which I have created and you can see that you just need to input the video URL or the ID. This is the ID of the video and you have to select the language. Uh, in which the video is and then you have some advanced options like transcript origin uploader provided or auto generated default so these are basically the inputs or the json body request uh, for the api to handle or generate the transcription so you have to uh, manually or you know uh, tell uh, to the lm or whatever the tool you are using that you need all these fields for your transcription and yeah then it is the output which is the uh, payload response okay so the response from the transcript is this one so you have actually the time and the text so i have a really nice ui to show the timing okay and when you hover it it changes so it gives you really nice effect you can also search for anything like this and the element will not only be sorted filtered but also you will be able to see some highlighting on the text that is there so yeah this is uh, this is an additional feature that i have added and then you can just click on the copy and it will instantly be copied on clipboard so you can see uh here i have copied it right so this way you can copy it search it you can also generate an article out of it and just write a title of it set the tone you want the length the approx length you will need for the article when whether you want to include the timestamps in the article or not just um, set it whether true or false and then click on generate article and it will generate the article for you let me show you really quick uh article title uh, it is for a video about what it is a split screen chrome feature right so how to use a split screen tabs in google chrome okay set it professional length to be around 500 words is okay for me and then include timestamps i will set it to false and then generate that so that we can quickly get our response so i can show you uh what is the use of it so our dependence so is running and let's see if we get the response yeah so yeah we have this markdown article that we can just copy it from here or we can download the markdown file okay like this so you do have two options and there's no option to regenerate but you can of course do that you can also have some database integrations as well for for this if you want 
then you can also join in the descriptions whether you want to include timestamps for the major sections or not in the video description and then you will just generate description for the video really useful really easy and then you can export the plain text just on srt subtitles or web vtt okay so that's web standard so the tons of options with respect to transcription you can easily generate the article majorly or you can generate the transcription so if you have a tool you uh, it's not only about just the transcription you might need transcription for various needs whether to analyze the videos if you want to analyze them you have a tool uh, that uses transcript in some way or the other for giving users some kind of an enhancement whether with respect to some uh, filtering of non-fluencies like uh, um, such kind of non-fluencies your tool you know eradicates from your video so such kind of tools are existing and can be made so transcription is necessary and essential in those cases so yeah transcription tool is very useful so i have used oxylabs uh, scraping api for this purpose so i have this my dashboard so you can just check it and uh, i got the free trial of two usd uh sorry one usd and it's enough for me it didn't take much just uh you know credits for you know utilizing it i'm really happy with it so you just have to you know copy your credentials from here and then when you are creating your application i have used vo.dev or which is now vo.app and it's really easy it is uh, nice you can create next js application in a matter of seconds just give it a prompt like i'm on this kind of application which does this which does that and it is gonna take all the time all the credits that you want to create the application so yeah generally it gives you some credits when you are you know starting out but i will leave a link in the description so if you join from my link you will get ten dollar you know credits to start or test vo.app so those 10 dollar credits are enough to you know, create this kind of an application it will only take you about like four to five usd for such an application because i have not i have not used user user authentication or database integration or anything it is just a client side single page application and nothing is being saved anywhere and so it is just for testing purpose if you want to, you know have this as an integration as an extension as an add-on in your application and then it's a different thing but for now it is just a testing so uh yeah you can use it i have used gemini to you know generate the article or the description out of the transcription so here is my code you can see over here so there are two or three api routes and options one is transcription second is generating the article and then generating the descriptions so transcription is using our what you call it oxylabs and here is our request you can see the lot of error handlings being implemented right so even if the oxylabs username or password is wrong it will you know show some logs that username is exist <coughs> doesn't exist or whatever it is so yeah a uh, lot of error handlings and all the uh, you know responses or the queries the requests uh, you can also use it as a curl if you want to you can turn it into curl and then paste on your anten if you want to use anten in the back end you can use no loco or some other software or no code software you can also use them for such kind of or such kind of an application because it is really easy you just have to create new fields in your table for the output and you have to work on the automations to you know and to you know initiate or trigger the webhook whenever a new record is created so whenever a user creates a new record it will trigger the automation and then it will run the automation to generate a transcription and when it is done it will update the tables uh, row where you have output field and then it will show the output on your ui so that's really useful and many people use it i have used it as well so if you want to you know sh uh, see it and see in real time how it works then you can just go ahead in the comments 
and by the time i will also create a video on it because it is in the pipeline and in the queue so i'm going to just make more videos on that as well i will be covering software no loco and all those tools and let you know how you can integrate it with n10 as a backend and use it uh, for your no code applications that are equally faster equally reliable and really uh, scalable so yeah this was all for today's video and these are the tools that i used google gemini oxylabs and vio.app which is by versal itself kind of a lovable or bolt.new or replite replit right so this is you can create from any of those tools of course you can also use firebase google studio uh, which is now giving you the option to create applications or you can simply use cursor or what you call it uh, visual studio code for that matter because you just have to create an application whether it is on react laravel or whatever the framework you choose and then you can integrate it with auxilabs api or you can use any other api that allows you to generate the transcription of the video links or the video ids so uh, i'm unnecessarily you know <laughs> making the video lengthy which is not you know fun so yeah i will leave you here and you can check out our description if you want to and if you want to you know see more videos like this then please subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next one thank you so much for watching Thank you.